Exercise and Asthma, The Surprising Link If you're an asthmatic, you might think that exercise would be the last thing on your list to try and take part in. However, it turns out there's a surprising connection between exercise and asthma, and your lungs actually might benefit from some regular movement. Learn more about exercise and asthma in this video. What is asthma? Asthma is a chronic inflammatory disorder of the airways. It affects the bronchi or lungs, causing inflammation, narrowing of the airways, and recurring episodes of wheezing, chest tightness, shortness of breath, or cough. Exercise and Asthma Asthma is a chronic lung disease that inflames and narrows the airways. Most asthmatics have trouble controlling their asthma symptoms, which can range from mild to life-threatening. Exercise is one of many factors that can affect asthma symptoms. It's important for people with asthma to talk to their doctor about what type of exercise is appropriate for them, how much they should do, and how often they should do it. There are a number of benefits to exercise for people with asthma. How does exercising benefit asthmatics? It's important for asthmatics to stay active. In fact, studies have shown that exercise can help asthmatic patients control their symptoms better than medication alone. One study found that a group of asthmatics who took medication had an average of three asthma attacks per week, whereas a group of patients who exercised only had one asthma attack per week. Which exercises are best? The best exercises for asthmatic patients are those that are low in intensity and don't require a high degree of breathing. Walking, swimming, bicycling, yoga, pilates, and qigong are all great examples of exercises to do with asthma. What should I do after an attack? The first thing you should do after an asthma attack is to assess the severity of the attack. If it's been a few hours, or if you need to go somewhere that requires walking, I suggest taking an albuterol inhaler. If it has been more than 4 to 6 hours since your last asthma attack, then I suggest using an inhaled steroid. Is there an age limit when it comes to exercising? There is no age limit for exercising, but it is important to know your limits. You may not want to do intense exercises if you have a history of asthma or other respiratory issues. Yoga, meditation, breathing exercises, do they help with asthma? There are a number of different ways to help with asthma. Yoga, meditation, and breathing exercises have all been shown to reduce both the frequency of asthma attacks as well as the need for medication in people with mild to moderate asthma. Please, like and subscribe for more videos. Thank you.